Did you know that in-app notifications can boost app engagement by up to 88%? With Sodi Snap, you can easily push notifications to your business critical apps, directing users towards points of interest to boost usage, retention, and the lifetime value of your apps. Leveraged properly, in-app notifications help users find useful information and improve their performance while increasing overall satisfaction. Hello, I'm MJ, Principal Instructor here at Sodi. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to push notifications to an app using Sodi Snap's announcement feature. Let's begin. The announcement feature is available for any of your published apps. For this example, we're using an app we've already created and published using Sodi Snap. To set up an announcement, click on the hamburger menu in the top left corner of the Sodi Snap console. Then click on Apps to go to your Applications page. Click on the icon under the Published column. In the Actions column of the app, click on the three dots for more options and click Announce. You should now see the Announcements page. This is where announcements are stored as either published or drafts. To create a new announcement, click on the new announcement in the top right corner of the page. A dialog box opens where you can enter the title and the message for your announcement. To create a title for the announcement, click on the title field and enter your title. In the message field, you can type your full message and customize it using the rich text editor. Let's type the following message. Dinner is taking place in the cafeteria. Let's also give it a blue color to customize the text. Other customization options are available by hovering over the icons. Finally, let's add a line divider and upload an image of the area. Once you've finished customizing your message, you can either click Create and Publish, which sends the announcement immediately to the devices, or click Create, which saves the announcement as a draft, allowing you to publish at a later date or time. Let's click Create to save the announcement as a draft. We can now see on the announcements page that the announcement is on the list, but with no published date. If at any point in time you would like to edit the announcement, you can click on the pencil icon under the Actions column and make any necessary adjustments. When you are ready to publish the announcement, click on the three dots under the Action column and click Publish. This sends the announcement to all your app users. You can see under the Publish column that the announcement now has a date and time indicating when it was published. It is also possible to duplicate a previous announcement instead of creating a new one. This is useful if the announcement message you'd like to send is the same or similar to a previous announcement. To do this, find the announcement you'd like to duplicate in the list. Click on the More Options icon in the Action column and then click Duplicate. This creates a copy of the announcement and stores it as a draft. You can edit further by clicking on the pencil icon or publish when ready. Now let's see what the newly published announcement looks like on the device. Here you can see there's a notification in Sodi Snap. This is indicated by the number in the red circle over the announcement icon. By tapping on the announcement icon, you will see a summary of the announcement with the title and the first line of the announcement. Tapping further on the summary, allows you to see the full details. Once the announcement has been viewed, the end user has the option to either keep it or delete it from the app. And that's it. In just a few minutes, I've shown you how to push notifications to your business critical apps so you can use them to direct users towards points of interest to boost usage, retention, and the lifetime value of your apps. Thank you for tuning in. Click subscribe to get the latest updates. To learn more about how the Sodi One platform reduces the cost, complexity, and downtime of your business-critical mobile and IoT operations, visit Sodi.net.